Now Cameron Matheson brings us a touching story that may also teach us a few things about strength, love, determination, and the joy of being different. It all began with a little boy in California and his dream. For Miss Roush's kindergarten class in Los Angeles, today's special visitor is Ezra Frick. Some say he's a teacher with a special lesson for all of us. Hi, Ezra. Can we say good morning, Ezra? Good morning. Ezra is just four years old. Today's lesson is about his prosthetic leg and how being different is no big deal. Why do you have a fake leg? I was born with a shorter leg, so I've a prosthetic leg to help me run and do stuff. He was born with a rare condition that caused his left arm and leg to not be formed properly. It was a limb issue. Um, when the chromosomes divided, one side, his left side, got misinformation, so it didn't form like the right side. There was also something else special about Ezra, how happy a baby he was, engaged in everything, a sure sign of what was to come. When he was three, he had surgery to remove the leg that wasn't growing properly, and now he uses a prosthetic leg. That day, he walked into our doors. He changed our lives. He changed our lives. He, he just, there's just something about him. He comes in here and he lights this place up. So do you think there's anything that you can't do? Mm, I can't skip very well, but I can skip a different way. That's all that matters, right? Yeah. But being different isn't always easy. Sometimes he has those days where he's like, I, I don't want to be different. He would sob to me and say, you know, can you tell God to give me another leg like other kids? He has those moments. But something surprising has lifted Ezra. Listen carefully to the happy sound of basketball. Every spare minute he has, it's, it's dedicated to basketball. I mean, it's fascinating. He lives, breathes basketball. I get to play over and over and over again, over again, blah, 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 until it's dinner time. He plays inside, outside, alone, at school, with strangers, and even a few minutes with me. No! I give up? And if you haven't noticed, his favorite team is the L.A. Lakers. He doesn't watch cartoons. All he does is we watch Laker games over and over again. And his favorite player, Pau Gasol. His obsession is Pau Gasol. He's just a good player. He's drawn to Pau Gasol. He's a very good blocker, shooter, rebounder. He has this incredible incredible love affair with Pau Gasol. And listen to this. He just recently got a haircut because Pau Gasol just got a haircut. He would wake up in the morning and come into my bathroom and grab my eyeliner and ask me to give him a beard like Pau Gasol. Ezra has never met Pau, so we thought we'd make a dream come true. So before a recent game backstage at the Staples Center, a little surprise and a very big man walked through the door, Pau Gasol. So good to meet you. <laughs> Hi. There, two giants stood before each other in a room full of joy. Who do we love? Pal. We love Pal. <laughs> to be able to share a couple minutes with a kid full of joy, full of happiness in his situation, it just makes you feel incredibly blessed. I just want to cry. I'm so excited. This is very special, you know? My son's been dreaming of this moment. I was like, oh my God. It was so exciting. It was surprising. When he does hit those low points, I just will remind him of the special days where someone like Pau Gasol went out of his way to meet this extraordinary boy. It was a big day for everyone, but every day, Ezra is making an impression to all around him, perhaps teaching us that being different is okay. Virtually every person he comes across, he teaches them about acceptance and appreciation of a diverse world. So sweet.
What a wonderful little guy. Little big man, as we say in basketball terms. Incredible guy. And what a basketball player. He completely took me to school. Very humbling. <laughs> They're already talking about the Special Olympics for little Ezra. And with his determination, there is no doubt that many more of his dreams will come true. Now, we got to thank the folks at Hanger Prosthetics who designed Ezra's leg and who brought us the story. Cameron, Jordan. i got to tell you, we've just been passing around on the Kleenex here for the last yeah. minute. That is incredible. What a lovely I was doing everything in my story. power to come out of the piece and not be crying too, George. George. We're, we're doing the you. same thing, but we won't hold it in too much. It was just a beautiful story. Thanks a lot for bringing it to it us. Okay. You can find out a lot more about oh, Team Ezra on our website that's at abcnews.com. There he is right there, Ezra. Let's leave it with that. Mm-hmm.